Mativa here guys we are back with Red Dead and in our last episode we robbed a bank with Bill Williamson and I must say it was fun and we got a lot of money now Dutch uh, is in the mood of um, making a fool out of both of these families one of them is uh, great weights and another one is the Grace family and uh, so he said, uh, go and see John, John and Javier at the Grace Place and uh, Jose and Sean at the Braithwaite's Manure. So let's see what we can dig out from these guys. I hope we are ab able to make a fool out of both of these families. And I, re I really don't think so that's going to happen. But let's see what the mess is all about. Can I help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Everybody and everywhere there's troubles. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants! I don't know. Mongrels! Slave fuckers! All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Seems like we have to steal some horses. Thoroughbreds. See the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded. 
So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, but head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. <laughs> All right, I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. Let me just quickly grab the guns. you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses I mean I don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy whoa I don't like officials we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings come on now partner okay fine follow me these here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. I gotta check him out still, B, guys. Reliable uh -huh. that's Greaser, huh? Dirty job, eh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. Okay. Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Yeah. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy there. Easy. 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 It's okay. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier? You're gonna lead the stallions. Marston, you right point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, 
should regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here! I got What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! You're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! Coming this way, out of the fields. Okay, I'll take care of them. This kind of oh shit, just as I thought, just as I thought, he's gonna lose his control. Oops. Well, I'm leading a horse without even touching the rope. <laughs> Mission will get over, I suppose. So, yeah. How about lassoing him? Uh, how do I take that horse? Can I sit over it? Let's go. Yep. 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 Okay. Just over there, come on. 
Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> you think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. Five thousand for these horses seems like a tough, tough task. This guy. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No. I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. <laughs> Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it. Or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys. But nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Well. Believe the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. That's right. I thought $5,000. Whoa, we are going to be rich. Look at us now. Oh, well okay guys and on next episode uh, I'll catch up with uh, Jose and Sean they are waiting over at the great weights manure and uh, let's see what do we have over there to make full out of them but whatever the track we are going on uh, we are trying to make full out of both of these families uh, I don't think that's gonna work it's gonna be a hell of a lot of mess, I suppose. Okay. Eat well, sleep well. Please do like my videos and subscribe my channel. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.